Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the fifth episode of the Alobonaga Show, and I am super excited today. Uh, today, the guest I have is a big, big personality, and who don't know about him? I'm talking about Timjan Imna Along, sir, uh, our honorable minister of higher education and tribal affairs. Thank you so much, sir, for being in my humble show, and thanks for accepting my invitation. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Brother Alobo. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank like you so I much. As I said before, uh -huh. who don't want to be with Alobo Naga? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And yes, let's go straight. Many people know you uh, as the minister, as the politician, you know, as the president of BJP in Nagaland, but people don't know the other side. So the whole you know, uh, the purpose of this interview is we wanted to know the other side of, you know, Sir M. Nalong. And uh, with that, I want to come back to the first question. Sir, would you like to share something about your childhood, your background, your family? That's a lot of things to say in just a short period of time. My childhood was like any other normal childhood mm -hmm. of any normal middle class family. I'm the eldest. I have three younger brothers. My father passed away in 2010. Mm -hmm. And my mother is still alive. She is the head of the family as mm -hmm. of now. <clears throat> and then what every, you know, young boy would do, I did that, mm -hmm. as naughty as I could be, Okay. then, <clears throat> you know, childhood memories, normal things which every normal boy mm -hmm. would do. Okay. So I heard that you studied from uh, DPS Dimapur. Absolutely. And I had a talk with some of your, fr uh, your classmates and Someone said that you love aloo chop. Is that a rumor or true? Like when you were in school, you used to love aloo chop. And you even bribe a teacher. It's in during a debate competition. No, that is, I know who said it. Okay. To you. So I won't <laughs> comment on him. Uh -huh. He is one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. You can see by my size, I loved potatoes from my childhood. Okay. And during those times, our... Parents used to give us one rupee mm -hmm. for our school pocket money. Mm -hmm. So the best thing to buy was the hot aloo chop. Alu chop. So yeah. one used to cost 50 pies. Wow. So two aloo chops. So that was a great thing. And it was, it is delicious and even today I love aloo chop. So, so do you know how much aloo chop costs these days? I think it would cost around 5 to 10 rupees. Yeah, 5 rupees. And the bigger one is 10 rupees, you know. So f from 50 pies to 5 rupees, 10 rupees, you know. The journey so far. Anyway, going to the next question. I came to know you from REM Group, you, you know. Yes. And then uh, I knew you as a businessman. And then next moment, I saw you contesting election. So can you please share something about the journey from business to politics? I have been a businessman from my very young days, actually. Mm -hmm. And you know, when we were young, we were poor. Mm -hmm. So from class eight, nine onwards, I started my business journey. Oh, wow. You know, this is, uh, you know, what you call that necessity is the mother of all. Well, you know, startups also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then I was in Mumbai and mm -hmm. Delhi for many years mm -hmm. on the news of the deterioration of my father. Mm -hmm. I came back to Nagaland okay. and my father passed away. Mm -hmm. So it was quite overwhelming for me. Mm -hmm. And during those days, I used to go around my area, my village and the neighboring villages of our area because we have grown up from village. True. Even though I studied in DBS, <coughs> you know, 
we are one of the senior most students, the alumni, in you know, a batch of 95. Wow. We are one of the senior most in the DBS Dimapur. Okay. So, I started a company here mm -hmm. called Rem Group. Mm -hmm. Rem is the first name of my grandmother, mm. Rem Sung Merila. Mm -hmm. And so, we started trading in coal, doing constructions, doing, you know, most trades and working. But at the same time, looking at the complete need mm -hmm. of basic developments in our area, mm -hmm. As a CSR, mm -hmm. our company's profits and my profits, most of it used to go to building toilets, mm -hmm. you know, to building footsteps, retaining walls, roads, mm -hmm. making in roads, you know, scholarship for students, mm -hmm. and all those kind of activities. And it was not a preemptive program to be a, you know, elected member or to mm -hmm. be a politician. Mm -hmm. But then, <clears throat> looking at the complete you know, transformation of being in Mumbai and Delhi where people even complain about, you know, the almost whatever they have is great. Mm -hmm. And when you come to a place like Nagaland, especially in my own area, where open defecation was still a problem, mm -hmm. you know, where our women and our ladies are not comfortable. They had no common toilets or washrooms, or the basic needs were not available. Mm -hmm. Live about the roads, which were almost impossible. Mm -hmm. And the need of our people were, you know, much, much unreached. Mm -hmm. So that prompted me to come to politics. Okay. I, I still remember, you know, coming to your place and you invited me, you know, we integrated those uh, washroom uh, bathrooms and all yes. you were making f the foot steps and everything. So I was really, really impressed, you know, those days. And I think that's how we came to know, I came to know you, you know. So moving on to the next question, uh, since you talk about moving to politics, I'm sure before you joined the politics, as you shared right now, you had some visions. So now that time you were outside the system with the vision now you're already in the system so is there any what, what what are the differences what are the challenges you know or you know uh looking from outside the system and inside the system and the visions that you had are you i mean being able to uh you know succeed those things you know so far or still working on that see brother Alobo, one of the most uh crux issue in what you have just asked now is mm -hmm. that from outside the system, we think that everything is very easy and mm -hmm. possible. Why is the government not doing this? Why is it not doing that? Mm -hmm. Or like that. After coming inside the system, we come to know that, yes, in a certain part, we as mm -hmm. legislators also lack in assertive governance. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we can also do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You know, where the right policies mm -hmm. uh, can be you know put forth so that people can have the basic needs mm. people can have the you know because after all governance is of the people mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and with regards to the vision and the goal that i had carried forward it is actually the vision and the goal that every young man and woman of this state wants to do mm -hmm. you know wants to live mm. in a prosperous nagaland mm -hmm. wants to live in a developed nagaland wants to live in a violence-free, peaceful, you know, Nagaland where entrepreneurs mm -hmm. like you, mm -hmm. like anyone, mm -hmm. would do well and get equal yeah. opportunity without, you know, injustice being meted out to them. Mm -hmm. So it is just a time that has started. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't see that it has culminated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In my own little ways, I'm trying my best. I fail in a lot, mm -hmm. but in some ways, is able to do it. Oh, okay. So I think it's just a journey in the making. Okay, it's just the beginning. Just the beginning. So coming back uh, to the next question, what is that one vision you have for Naga youths? And is there any message you want to give it to the Naga youth? Naga youths are dynamic. Mm -hmm. 
very entrepreneurial. I'm not trying to flatter all of them. Mm -hmm. We are good in doing bad. We are good in doing good. Mm -hmm. But if we can really perceive it, mm -hmm. put the God-given talents mm -hmm. in us mm -hmm. and the agility that we have into more practical mode mm -hmm. and be consistent in it mm -hmm. and pursue it, you know, there is going to be problems. There is going to be trouble. Mm -hmm. There will be negativism. Yeah. People will criticize. People may not want each other to grow. Mm -hmm. But that is part and parcel of the journey. Mm -hmm. Who said that you are going to have a smooth ride? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't expect. Yeah. Nor did you, nor do you expect. Mm -hmm. The Alobo Naga that I knew six, seven years ago, and the Alobo Naga that I know today mm -hmm. are completely different versions. But you came till here because of your consistency, True. of your perseverance mm -hmm. and commitment. Yeah. So to all our friends who are there, mm -hmm. because fortunately I'm also not married, so I can say that I'm a youth. Yes, very so much. So <laughs> it's just that everyone can't be a government servant mm -hmm. and everyone mm -hmm. need not be so. Mm -hmm. In whatever we do, we need to be satisfied mm -hmm. and work hard, mm -hmm. encourage each other, mm -hmm. and do well for on behalf of everybody. Mm -hmm. The tagline is that mm -hmm. when you succeed, it is not only for you. Mm -hmm. When you do well, it is not only for you and your family. Yeah. In every way you are contributing to the society, mm -hmm. and in every way you are contributing to your people, mm -hmm. and you are giving a vibrant you know, version of Nagaland. Mm -hmm. So I think that is what should be encouraged for. Mm. So consistency. Absolutely. Is one of the key words. I, I even and a, commitment. A commitment, yes. So uh, as you said, we see a lot of talented people, you know, in every field actually. Coming, they come as a boom, you know, they come. But then consistency and a commitment is, I think, you know, and I also believe we're very laid back in. Mo moving on to the next question, in 2018, when you were elected as, you know, first time and there was the assembly and then you created history, you know, like addressing uh, the assembly in, you know, in Hindi and everyone started talking about that. And so many of us started, you know, appreciating, admiring the way you spoke, you know, that day. We want to know how do you speak Hindi so good, you know, should the Hindi, you know, most of the Nagas we speak that, you know, in the NAP Hindi, the, I mean, I'm so sorry to offend, but the, that we use that NAP Hindi kind of thing. But you speak so good, you know, Shuddha Hindi. How did you, you know, manage to do that? And I mean, where did you study? No, bro, there is no rocket science to it. Okay, okay. But um, the assembly mm -hmm. is the temple of the legislators. Mm -hmm. We are people who take oath under the constitution of India. Mm -hmm for governance mm -hmm. and as elected members. Okay. The day I was in the assembly mm -hmm. was the Hindi Divas Day also. Okay. And the late Sri Pyong Thamjan Jamir, mm -hmm. who is a, I think a Padma Shri or Padma Vibhushan, mm -hmm. you know, he's from Longsa village. You know, and he got that because of Hindi language. Wow. So to regard mm -hmm. him he, mm -hmm. as a fellow Naga, being a Naga being recognized by the government of India wow. by giving such an award. Mm -hmm. So I took the stand okay. to wow. address our assembly, the mm -hmm. August assembly in Hindi. And we are all Naga, but we Hindustani. Haan. So Hindustani is not a Naga. Mm -hmm. We are a Naga. सिर्व बोलना ही नहीं, उसकी हर एक बातों को समझना चाहिए, हाँ जी, और उसको हम लोगों का दिल से और मन से बोलने के लिए सीखना चाहिए। एक कहावत है, you know, I'll tell you one thing। Please please। हिंदुस्तान का 130 करोड़ आबादी है, 130 करोड़। हम नागालैंड के वासी जो है 20 लाख भी नहीं हैं। ये कहते हैं और ये कहावत है कि अगर आप किसी की भाषा को जानते हो आप बोलना जानते हो उसकी रूह को उसकी आत्मा को समझता है 
तो आप उस व्यक्ति का व्यक्तित्व को आप समझते हैं इफ आई कैन स्पीक अंगामी और इफ आई कैन स्पीक सुमी और इफ आई कैन स्पीक चकसंग जस्ट एज यू स्पीक आवर लैंग्वेज और सिंग आवर सॉन्ग्स यू अंडरस्टैंड द एसेंस ऑफ वट दैट पर्सन इज ट्राइंग टू से एंड आई थिंक नो ऑफेंस आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट आई कुड हैव द प्रिवलेज टू स्पीक इन हिंदी एंड we all should do that mm -hmm. wow moving to the next question so many nagas are like there are a lot of rumors like people start gossiping people talk that sir tumjin nimna along is part of rss and he is like you know they always think and associate you with rss so would you have to would you like to say something on that or any message to these people the rss is a social organization mm -hmm. based on nationalism mm -hmm. and its module on uplifting and empowering mm -hmm. the people of this country and its citizens mm -hmm. wherever we may be whether we are part of it or not i think every indian mm -hmm. is a part of it in one way or the other so the rss what is so wrong about rss that they try to identify that with me because i am the bjp president mm -hmm. of the state unit here mm -hmm. or is there anything that i have a tail or some horns <laughs> you know after becoming the bjp president of nagaland i am afraid to wear the so many khaki long pants which i have because i usually wear black long pants and white shirt yes. so i have a three four pairs of khaki long pants so khaki long pants and white shirt people will brand me as that na no? yes but i'm telling you the rss is a brand mm -hmm. a brand of hope a brand of nationalism a brand that will also you know help this nation mm -hmm. do well we should not have any you know issues mm -hmm. with regards to any organization mm -hmm. we should try to know first understand first and then see how it functions mm -hmm. and what its goal and vision mm -hmm. so if there may be some corrections to be done we should be bold enough mm -hmm. to speak mm -hmm. humbly and say this is wrong mm -hmm. and if there are good things that is done by anybody we should be bold enough to say that you, what you are doing is right mm -hmm. so that is what i think okay thank you so much for answering that sir i hope uh, that clears the doubts of so many people who you know uh, have this thing in their mind moving on to the next question sir you been the minister of higher education is the government of nagaland planning anything or uh, like a college or institute for music and arts or is there any interesting project that the youth should be looking forward to sir why not uh, the professional college of music and arts mm -hmm. uh, the construction of the infrastructure is coming up okay. in topema okay it is just a few kilometers away from kohima mm -hmm. the honorable chief minister has always envisioned mm -hmm. to boost mm -hmm. the youngsters mm -hmm. as we all know tafma yes. and hornbill all these are part and parcel where youngsters are always being encouraged mm -hmm. so this professional college of music and arts when it comes to be Mm -hmm. i think it will boost the you know artistic value mm -hmm. and the cultural music mm -hmm. traditional contemporary and modern mm -hmm. in many ways wow. and the structure is going to be an iconic building Looking the very design has been designed in such a way by the engineers and the architects mm -hmm. that it will be an iconic building After wow. three four years, if people would come to Kohima, mm -hmm. I believe they will want to go there mm -hmm. and take a lot of selfies and photographs. Awesome! And be part of it. Wow! We as a musician, I mean, our community would looking looking forward, and I hope that will open many employment, you know, opportunities for musicians also. Mm -hmm. And we're looking forward that that will help the music community and art community in Nagaland. Now moving on to the last 
question on the serious topic. Um, so I was like, I shared a picture on Instagram and Facebook and people were asking about scholarship, scholarship, scholarship. They were like, ask you about scholarship. And I also at the same time, I want to bring an issue about false claim of scholarships. Uh, the Naga Student Federation was also doing campaign on that. So I want to talk about that. Uh, there are a lot of students who just claim, you know, scholarship saying their father is a you know, farmer, even though the parents are officers also, you know. So uh, there's no truth even there. So what do you have to say on that? See, the government of India mm -hmm. and the government of Nagaland provides scholarship in various categories. Mm -hmm. Now, since the PDA government has come mm -hmm. in 2018, mm -hmm. I, on behalf of the government, also want to assure that there is no corruption in scholarship anymore. Mm -hmm. Not even a rupee mm -hmm. of the scholarship money is spent anywhere else other than helping the tribal students in the way that needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Claiming false scholarship, I really want to discourage that. Mm -hmm. I applaud the NSF also for taking up such campaigns in the past mm -hmm. and I'm sure they will take up mm -hmm. many more organizations. But you see, the very essence of uh, taking scholarship has been distorted in our state. Mm -hmm. Now, almost all, all the students mm -hmm. are availing the scholarship, mm -hmm. but it is their conscientious decision to be taken. Yeah. The scholarship is for the poor students, mm -hmm. is for the below poverty line students, is for the children of farmers and the people who are not able to support themselves. Mm -hmm. For some students, it means a lot mm -hmm. because if they get mm -hmm. it, they can buy some books, mm -hmm. they can pay their fees, they can, you know, do something for their scholastic, mm -hmm. you know, endeavors. Sure. But for some people, they just apply it. mobile ekta kinibo. See that. Na juta ekta kinibo. Party. Party kuribo jabo. Yeah. Girlfriend ke loi jabo, boyfriend logo jabo. That thing is that. Mm-hmm. It's their conscientious decision. Mm -hmm. But I completely discourage that mm -hmm. because if someone who is not worthy is taking it, you are depriving somebody mm -hmm. who is worthy to receive it. Yeah. So it depends mm -hmm. on the students. Okay. Thank you so much for being so honest. And uh, yeah, we've come to the end of the first round. So now, it, first round was like more on the serious, serious talk. Now it's going to be more on the fun side. So I hope you'll be honest again in this, you know, and we get to grill some interesting thing out of you. It depends what your questions are. <laughs> okay, sir. So now let's moving ahead to the next segment. This segment is called the grill, sir. The first question, your BFF among the legislature, someone very close among. You know? Deputy CM Y Peton. Okay. Wow. Best friend forever. Awesome. Now next question, sir. Among your contemporaries, the young you know, legislature, uh, whom do you see as a competition in the future? Or who, whom do you see as like a bright future, great leader among all the contemporaries? No, um, it's not about competition. Okay, sir. But in assertion, mm -hmm. Mr. Tombang Ozukam is one to be looked out for. Wow. He is a great legislator. Okay. Humble, mm -hmm. assertive and hardworking. Okay. Medo Yoka, okay, yes. the newly elected one. Yes, yes. He's smart, mm -hmm. articulate, from a student background and is very assertive and very honest. Mm, okay. I think there are many more, but these okay. are the people whom our people have to look out for. Oh, wow. Hi. Something new to me also. The third, one thing you want to change about yourself, sir? Just for one night, I want to go down and <laughs> be a thin person like you. <laughs> if you call me thin, then I'm so happy, man. I'm so... You know, I should not say this in front of you, but I'm so worried about my size, sir. Anyway, moving to the next question, sir. We heard that you love dancing and parties, and personally, I've partied with you also. Uh, the best party ever attended? 
Singapore. Okay, Singapore is. Okay, speaking of parties, uh, once there was some video of you dancing with one girl and it went viral. <laughs> I did not do it. Okay. I was just coming down from the lounge and going to the washroom side. There was a lady. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to dance. I think she put her hand. So okay. we, you go to a mm -hmm. you know, club to shake your booty and dance. Yeah, yeah. Not that you go and sleep there. Mm -hmm. So that was what I did. And actually, it's very healthy. Like I said, for mm -hmm. a obese person like me, mm -hmm. it lets me let loose. And instead of body pain, I get relaxed by that. Awesome. So that's a great stress buster also sometimes. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool. The hottest celebrity according to you is? Nagaland. Anyone, Nagaland for uh, international, national. Ooh, Rod Stewart. Let's talk about girls, sir. About girls? Mm -hmm. Nowadays there is one lady in uh, South Korea, I think. Mm. I watch her in Instagram. I follow her. Wow. You, you, what do you call that? K-pop? K-pop, K-pop. That one girl is there. Achha? I don't really know her name, Celine or something like that. Wow. wow. I think that's I'm sure all the K-pop fans will be so interested, so, you know. <laughs> I think I'm a great K-pop fan. Wow. Before I go to sleep, I watch at least 10, 12 moves of those and then go to sleep. Dang, wow, wow. I'm sure all the K-pop fans will be so happy to hear this, you know, our honorable minister also. Listen to K-pop, watch K-pop, dance moves, K-pop songs. Now, sir, this question was asked by someone in uh, on uh, social media. Your normal diet and how much do you weigh today? My normal diet is actually quite less. Okay. According to my size, I don't eat that much. Achha. But I keep on nibbling, I think. Mm -hmm. I have an obsession with eggs. Mm -hmm. So I'm an egg egetarian more. Wow. That's it. Mm -hmm. I weighed 137 kgs. 137. Okay. This is for all those people who really want to know about his weight. 137 is your answer. Moving on to the next question. <laughs> Craziest thing a girl ever did to you. Did for you. Craziest thing. A girl? Does crazy things always. Mm -hmm. So interesting. How crazy or in what level of craziness? Mm -hmm. That I still not yet. Uh, okay. You know, s s decided <laughs> on that. Okay, okay. But I think all girls are crazy. Wow. So the highest amount of cash, or the craziest thing someone asks in return for a vote. Maybe. Asking to the sky is the limit uh -huh. in Nagaland politics. So I can't say this amount or that amount. Okay. <coughs> but it is overwhelming. Okay. I can only say that. Uh, uh, which celebrity would you like to swap career for a day and why? Which celebrity? Yeah. Alobo Naga. And why, sir? Because I think you enjoy what you do. You enjoy what you do, and then I think I also enjoy what I do. Mm -hmm. So there will be some similarities mm -hmm. while doing you and you being me also. But I would love to be you for at least a day, you know. We can swap that. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what I'm going to do, sir? Uh, I'm going to do something for my music school. <laughs> oh, I can understand. <laughs> okay. If you woke up tomorrow as our Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, what would you do? See, that is something that I cannot comprehend. Mm -hmm. Because our Honorable Prime Minister is a undescribable person. Mm -hmm. So I cannot fathom to wake up like him. Okay. You know. Cool. And uh, the burden he carries is too much and too great. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm a great fan of him. Okay. Moving on to the next question, sir. Given a chance in the central ministry in the future, is there any portfolio that you would love to hold? If given a chance in the future, the same that I'm holding today. Okay. Higher education. Wow. Which would mean education. Okay. Okay. Great. 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 Now, is there any Naga celebrity you wanna go on a coffee date with? 
Nisi Mereno. Okay, awesome. I'm sure Nisi, if you are there, you know, we can all go and have coffee. It would be interesting because he's a very, very interesting man. He is, he is, he is. And he's vibrant. Very much, very much. Well, I can fix that. Moving on to the next question, sir. One Naga personality you think can be a good politician? Like, not politician, like, from other background. There are actually many. Okay. So I will not be able to decide just about one person. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every young person mm -hmm. is a great potential. Wow. Thank you so much. That comes to the end of the grill and we move to the next segment. This is called reply in one word to the following. So I tell you one word, something, and you have to reply in one word. The first one, girlfriend. Many. Why Patton? Bold. Framework agreement. Wonderful. Foothill Road. Excellent. Bangkok. Wow. <laughs> Last time you lied. Today morning. Backdoor appointment. No. Woo. Thank you so much. Okay, so the next one is you just have to say yes or no. Never have I ever. Okay, so if I tell you never have I ever this dish, you say yes, no. Cool, okay. sir. Never have I ever heartbroken by a girl. No. Wow. Never have I ever went three days without showering. Yes. Never have I ever been to a strip club. No. Never have I ever cheated in relationship. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never have I ever experienced one night stand. No comments. Never have I ever spent a night in jail. I've never spent. Okay. Never have I ever peed inside the pool. Yes. Never have I drunk dialed my ex. Yeah. Yes. Never have I spread a rumor I knew wasn't true. Yes. Okay, last one. Never have I ever kissed a stranger. I have. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for being so honest, being sport. Whew. Okay, we're coming to the end, sir. This the last segment of the fun segment. This is, you know, which personality or politician would star in the following Hollywood remake? Okay. One, Hangover. Can I show something? No strings attached. Mitsubu. Robin Hood. Pai Wang. Okay. The Joker. Mm. Okay. Okay. Behind enemy's line. Honorable Chief Minister. Wow. Thank you so much. We have come to the end and this is the last segment. It's called complete the following sentence. First one. Sometimes I can't keep my commitment to the public because... It's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our public are so much in need. Mm -hmm. Can't fulfill everything. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, that's a very good answer, sir. Moving on to the next question. I am not married today because... Because I'm not married. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir, for answering all the questions. You know, uh, I don't think, I don't even know if any politician would love to come in there and, you know, you know, sit in this hot seat with me to grill. But, yeah, I would love to, 
if the others give me privilege. Anyway, thank you so much, sir, for being honest. Thank you so much for being sport and accepting my humble you know, invitation and being part of this humble show. I, on behalf of myself and the team, would like to thank you. And is there any pledge, any message before you know, we end the program, sir? Any message to the viewers? First of all, thank you for inviting me. Pleasure, sir. It has been a pleasure to be answering something which I usually never. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. So that's a great sport, first of all. Mm -hmm. Our people need the opportunity mm -hmm. and the determination to exist mm -hmm. without this troubles mm -hmm. created by our situations and circumstances. Mm -hmm. Our youngsters have dreams, visions, and sleepless nights, mm -hmm. and hopes beyond what they see today. Mm -hmm. Our mothers and fathers their eyes grow deeply into oblivion by seeing the state of affairs mm -hmm. of our people. And young and dynamic singers like all of you, musicians, sing great songs with lots of sorrow in trying to find the ultimate glory mm -hmm. of what you do. All this can be done if we only work collectively together mm -hmm. in our own ways. Mm -hmm. Just like I said, a person's commitment, consistency, and humility mm -hmm. to be able to change, to be able to say I'm wrong, mm -hmm. to be able to say I'm sorry, and to be able to assert boldly, yet with humbleness of what is to be done, mm -hmm. will give a collective strength, mm -hmm. not only to him or to his family, but to the whole society. Today we see a lot of vested interest people mm -hmm. who want to break down the voice of the hearts of the people, mm -hmm. break down the vision and goals and dreams of the people of Nagaland mm -hmm. by giving false hopes, mm -hmm. building false goals mm -hmm. and pursuing Mm -hmm. things which are not at hand. All this has to end. Mm -hmm. But mostly, as a youngster, we encourage each one to not give up hope. Mm -hmm. Like the Word of God has said, do not be worried, mm -hmm. frustrated, or discouraged for anything. But in everything, with thanksgiving and supplication, may your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding shall keep your heart and mind in Him who loves us eternally. So thank you very much, Brother Alobo. Thank you. Thank you to all the team mm -hmm. members. Mm -hmm. It is a wonderful evening. Thank you so much once again, sir, and for you know, ending up in such a wonderful nod. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in and for supporting and for always you know, being part of my show and I hope that you will continue the support and uh, we have amazing uh, personalities even in the coming days so please stay tuned and yeah, don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much God bless all of you